Hi guys, it's Kiwi Simming here and welcome back to my channel for a brand new apartment build in The Sims 3. This apartment I have called Cool Industrial and uh, yeah, it is based on the apartment that I decorated in The Sims 4 of I'm pretty sure the exact same name. I don't know, I'm kind of recreating some of my old content or my Sims 4 content in The Sims 3 because I really love a lot of the things that I did in The Sims 4 but obviously I'm not really using The Sims 4 at the moment other than to stream and play Not So Berry and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I kind of just want to take some of my old stuff and put them into The Sims 3 where I'm actually going to use them. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So this is another apartment in the world of St. Clair. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but 90% of the apartment builds that I've been doing recently have been in the world of St. Clair. And the reason for that is just... St. Clair is such a pretty world to build in, okay? I've never played in St. Clair. I don't know when I will play in St. Clair because, I don't know, I don't really have sims that fit the lifestyle of St. Clair. St. Clair is mostly city-based, okay? There are houses around St. Clair, but I don't know, it's just all the good stuff is in the city, so all the good stuff is townhouses and apartments and stuff like that, and I just don't personally play with families that would fit into that style of house, you know what I mean? I don't know, because they're all quite little apartments as well. It would be one thing to have a family apartment and have a family living in this family apartment, but yeah, most of the apartments are tiny, so they don't really fit that well for families. Not big families, at least, but I don't know, I could fiddle somewhere down the line, see if I can make it work. Uh, because yeah, this is a really pretty world. I, like I said, I've mentioned this in every single video I think I've ever done where I've been decorating in St. Clair, but it is a gorgeous world. Probably my favorite world to build in next to Evansdale County. And yeah, I've done a video overview of it. If you guys are interested, I will leave that linked in the description. If I don't remember to, just let me know. Also, I'm so sorry if my voice is all over the place today or if my commentary is all over the place today. I actually snapped my retainer that's behind my teeth. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to have braces back in 2009 and a little bit of 2010. I had them for about eight months, but when I got them taken off, they put a permanent retainer in my mouth. It's like a little wire. I don't know the, tech the technical name for it. I don't know if it is just called a retainer. I don't know. Basically what it is, is it's a wire at the back of my teeth that is essentially keeping my teeth in place. And it's a wire that I'm going to have in my mouth for probably the majority of the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, just to keep my teeth where they are and to prevent them from, you know, separating and going back to how they were before I had my braces. Because, uh, yeah, my parents didn't spend a lot of money on my orthodontal... Orthodontal? Is that even a word? Orthodontic? I think it's orthodontic. They didn't spend a lot of money on my orthodontic care for me to just snap my retainer on stream and ruin it. So yeah, <laughs> I did that yesterday and my teeth are quite sore. So I have a little bit of a lisp, I think. I don't know how obvious it is through the microphone. It's obvious to me because um, I hear myself in a different way than you hear me. You know how like you can hear your voice differently than other people can hear their voice? like can hear your voice yeah that's kind of i hear a lisp i don't know if you do but yeah my teeth are killing me not so much anymore they were really sore at the start of the day i actually streamed while having this super sore like set of teeth and i thought it would be a good idea uh but i had to end my stream after an hour because i was in such excruciating pain and for some reason weirdly enough talking through it made it so much worse <laughs> uh but yeah that's currently my uh my stress of the moment, okay? I have to, uh, I have to get my retainer fixed, otherwise my teeth are gonna go bad again. And I don't really want my teeth to go bad. Ow, I just bit down and it really hurt. Oh, this is really painful, okay? If you've ever experienced any sort of toothache, I feel like maybe you know where I'm coming from with this. <laughs> it's really hard to, like, focus and concentrate when your teeth are killing you, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I snapped that yesterday, which was a Friday. It's currently a Saturday when I'm recording this and all the orthodontic places in the area that I live in, they're closed until Monday. So I can't even call an orthodontist and book an appointment until Monday. 
and yeah I don't think it'll be like I'm probably gonna have to wait like a week after I call to even get into the orthodontist to sort out this freaking issue so yeah I'm really hoping my teeth stay put and don't go back in the time it takes me to finally get an appointment Ugh, I can just imagine orthodontists are busy I haven't been to one in years uh, the orthodontist I'm gonna go to is the orthodontist that actually like did all of my old orthodontic work he's still in the area which is nice all these years later <laughs> he's still around uh, he's moved to a different like clinic but uh, the clinic that I went to to get all of my orthodontic stuff it's since been like closed down and stuff so he moved over to this new one I'm gonna try and get an appointment there but if I can't then I'm gonna have to find someone else aren't I but uh yeah would be nice if he could uh, fix that for me real quick <laughs> It's like the retainer's still in my mouth. It's still secure on the other side of my teeth. But uh yeah, the side that it's loose on, it keeps kind of like it keeps cutting my lip for a start and sometimes I'll like brush my tongue against it by accident and it'll like feel like it's about to cut my tongue. Uh the retainer itself feels like it's going to pop out at any moment. Yeah. Just on the one side though, not on the other side. Thankfully the other side is still intact. <laughs> But I have no idea how much that is going to cost me. I have a horrible feeling that when I go to the orthodontist to get this fixed, they're going to point out cavities in my mouth and be like, hey, you also need to go to the dentist and get these sussed. And um, yeah, I'm just going to have to spend a lot of money on my teeth within the next few months. That's my fear. <laughs> like my teeth don't hurt at the moment, but I'm just so prone to cavities. And I do get toothaches sometimes. I just assume it's because... Um, I've been grinding my teeth while I sleep, but um, you know, on further reflection, it's possible that I do have more cavities that need tending to because I'm so prone to them. I've mentioned this in quite a few videos. I take such good care of my teeth, but I get constant cavity, not constant, but like I get cavities. Okay. My partner, on the other hand, he often forgets to take care of his teeth. And apparently he used to be quite like quite bad. Like when he was growing up and everything, he told me once that um, he never really gave a shit about his teeth back then. And uh, yeah, he's never had a filling or never needed a filling in his life. So uh, yeah, super ironic, super annoying. <laughs> oh, he is better now though, just like full disclaimer, he brushes his teeth, okay? I remind him if he forgets because we're all about dental hygiene here at youtube.com slash kiwisimming, okay? Look after your teeth. You only have one set. And to get um, replacement teeth, it's really expensive. <laughs> so, save yourself some bucks, take care of your teeth, okay? But you might still get cavities, because I still get cavities. Apparently it's a genetic thing. Uh, I think I got comments on the last video that I talked about this on, which was like three years ago. Like that video was about three years ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just take care of your teeth, please. Ugh. Uh, but anyway, we are actually not too far off finishing this apartment. I successfully managed to ramble my way through this whole thing, which is always fun. I'm a very big rambler. Uh, but yeah, I really like the way it turned out. I definitely see the similarities between this cool industrial apartment and the Sims 4 version of this apartment. I mean, obviously, the Sims 3 and the Sims 4 ones are going to be quite different because it's a completely different shell and everything, but it was inspired by the cool industrial apartment that I did in The Sims 3. Do you know what I mean? I hope you catch my drift. Uh, but yeah, it's really cute. It took me less than an hour to do. I was watching streams as I did this because that's all I ever do while I'm um, decorating. I just, I watch stuff <laughs> and it's really fun, okay? I'm absolutely addicted to Twitch specifically. If you guys don't know, by the way, I'm a Twitch streamer, so link in the description down below you should follow me on twitch i don't think i'll be live today because my teeth hurt and it's my day off but i will be live in a few days i just recently played the whole life of strange series you should go watch that <laughs> it's been good but yeah we are just about finished with the apartment and are getting ready to jump into some screenshots i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up for me uh this is in the download link is in the description sorry i nearly said this will be up on the gallery not true. This is The Sims 3. The download link will be in the description if you want to download it. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye!